Hey, what's good, broskies? It's Borsche Clock. Alrighty, first thing you want to do is get a pot, cabbage, freaking carrots, onion, potatoes, and a beet. Borsche is the type of soup you make when you don't have food. When you have no meat, just bones, and no calories, just vegetables. You got a problem, Andrew? <laughs> with water now some people would use tap water but i'm a little bit more fancy i have real water that doesn't give you freaking kidney stones and freaking lead contamination i got freaking some blue moon water hell yeah all right let's just fill this thing up all right so because i was smart enough to freeze these bones i'm gonna have to thaw them out to thaw them out you just gotta put them in some warm water all right, broskies, Borsche clock is back in business. We got the bones thawed, and I'm basically just gonna put it in the pot full of hot water. All right, broskies, next step is cleaning up the vegetables. And I'm gonna show you how to do it without a peeler because your boy don't got a peeler. I'm gonna take in here my paring knife. I don't know what the hell you call this thing. This is like the best knife in the world though. All right, for carrots, you take the carrot and you simply Actually, with carrots, you can just go back and forth on it. Uh, like, kind of like, shit, you guys can even see it. Like, just kind of like this. And that's how you can peel it with carrots. For potatoes, you do the one-handed, kind of cut towards yourself because that sounds like a very good idea, but you kind of like put your thumb in the way to prevent you from like cutting open your wrist. So instead you just cut open your thumb and there's less damage like that. But then if you're skilled enough, you won't cut anything open, you'll just kind of Peel it back and forth. Okay, let me just peel this stuff. Beets, I mean, it's just a beet. If you can't figure out how to peel a beet, you shouldn't be cooking borscht. All right, cut the onion into almost quarts. Laurel falls before. <laughs> what? Laurel what? Laurel falls. Oh, that's a place. Laura falls? Laurel. Laurel, okay, I'm, inter I'm interested now. If it was Laura falls, I'd be like, that sounds kind of lame, but. Laurel, I just want to find out what a laurel is. Alrighty, now that everything's cut up, I'm gonna see if I can see if I can fit it in the soup. Yeah. I'll do my best. Okay, very important Slav tip here. Remove this stuff. This stuff is not what you want in the soup. Okay, so I put a lot of stuff in here because I like calories with my soup. And then I'm gonna put two tablespoons of this in there for color. You can also put like two tablespoons of tomato sauce if you're some Italian wimp. But uh, yeah, we're using this. All right, now you just let this cook for another year. And before you're done cooking it, you go back to your beet. You take the sucker, peel it, shred it, and put it in the soup. That's all there is to it. This? Why does it look like a penis? It's a beet. It's literally a, a scrotum. Alrighty, we're at the final phase of the soup where it's time for the beet root. I'm sorry that rhymed. All right, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel this thing. I recommend wearing gloves. If you don't got gloves like myself right now, I don't have gloves. It's gonna look like you just walked out of freaking murdering someone. So is what it is. I don't have a, a freaking shredder. So I'm gonna use a freaking food processor and hopefully I don't freaking make beet juice, even though that probably sounds pretty good. And then basically I'm just gonna toss it in here because there's a beet in it. And it's also symbolism of communism. Bro, you cannot drink, okay, don't don't drink the Coke first. Take Taste the soup first, because otherwise you're gonna kill the uh, sweetness. All right, homies, you know what time it is. It's borscht o'clock. We got the borscht, freaking huge ass bone in there. Saying a kid's channel, I can say what I want. All right, I'm gonna fill this up and do a taste test. Oh yeah, I need to get your reaction to this. This is history right here, Borsche clock. I won't show his face because he'll get mad. Borsche clock. How are you supposed to not show my face but show me eating it? No, just put it here. It tastes like water. What? <laughs> it's Borsche clock, and he's saying it tastes like it water. Tastes pretty good. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you can put more salt in it. I didn't put enough salt. All right, what do you think? What do you think? It's all 
Needs more salt, yeah. As, that pot's just way too big for me to put on. I'd be there forever grinding salt. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, give it on a, a rating out of out of 10, what'd you say? Four. Four? My gosh. This guy's going tough on me. All right. I'm going to try it, and I'll tell you guys what I think. All righty. It's the moment we waiting for. Borsha clock. Red, like the Soviet. All right, let's just try it out. Oh, shoot, this is, what are you talking about for? This is at least a 10. This is so good, what are you talking about? This is like, it's sweet. No, this is everything I'm looking for. Cause he's drinking uh, American propaganda with his meal. No, 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 that's why. Doesn't even have cocaine in it anymore. Yeah, but look at that, let me zoom in on that. Look at that. You can't eat borscht with American soda. That's why it tastes bad. Yeah. Alrighty, homies. It's been Borsche Clock with your boy G-Night.